Alrighty, so we're here for round one, game three of our Sun and Moon to Lost Thunder 16 deck tournament. Best of one, but each deck gets a life. So what that means is that if the deck just gets absolutely mopped, absolutely rolled over, pinned, uh, I don't want to use any words that'll get me demonetized on YouTube, the deck gets a second chance once in the whole tournament, doesn't carry over over rounds. Uh, we've had so far Septile GX versus Coco Simeons, and we've had, uh, what was the last one? Buzzgarb Shrine versus Zora Rock. Today we have Blacephalon versus Granbull. He'll be playing Granbull, I'll be playing the Blown. Yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, I'll call heads. It is tails. I'll go first. And I will draw seven off the top. Alright, we got a basic. I got a bowl again. Okay. I'll take six prizes. And <clears throat> I will mark the mulligan. Alright, I'll draw seven. Hoping for a basic this time. I had a mulligan again. Yep. This one them. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll draw seven one more time. I did get a basic. Alrighty. We love to see basics. Yeah, I'm basic. Those and take out my prizes. Yep. And I will be going first. So I'll take two mulligans. Yep. And here we go. I'll draw for turn. I'll start by playing my mysterious treasure for my hand to discard the choice band. Yeah. Okay. Off mysterious treasure, I'll get a poipal. I'll play Cynthia to shuffle my hand, draw six. Mm -hmm. Off Cynthia, I'll draw six. Oh, that's not bad. I'll play Heat Factory from my hand, and I'll use the effect of Heat Factory to discard a Fire Energy and draw three. I'll attach Fire Energy from my hand to Lacephalon, and I'll pass. I will use Nest Ball. Yep. Good start. Yep. Please. I'll grab a Snubble. Yep. I'll attach a Fairy Energy to the Snubble on the bench. Yep. I will use Great Ball. Yep. The only Pokemon I found was a Rangaroo. Yep. Put that to hand. <laughs> I'll bench a Rangaroo. Yep. I will use Pokemon. Alrighty, we'll go to the top three. Grab a Pokemon or an energy you find there. You don't have to though. Grab my cargo, makes sense. Uh, and then I will pass. Alrighty, I'll draw for turn. That's actually a very good draw. I'll play Sophocles, discarding two fires from my hand to draw four cards. I'll attach a Beast Energy to Lacephalon GX. Okay. Just get rid of that with Mind Bloom. I'll play Ultra Ball, discarding Sophocles and Ultra Ball. And I'll get Nagana Del from out of the deck. I'll use Nagana Del's Charging Up to attach an energy from my discard pile to it. And then I will bench a second Blacephalon GX. And then I will use Blacephalon's Mind Blown Attack, taking away the Fire Energy on the bench to the Lost Zone and doing 80 damage with the Beast Energy, taking a prize. Alrighty. I will evolve into Night Cargo. Yep. I'll use Diantha. Yep. Getting back Snubble and Great Ball. Yep. To my hand. Bench that snubble. Yep. Attach a fairy energy there. Alright, I will use smooth over. That goes to the top. Yeah. I'll use instruct to draw that card. I'll evolve into Gramble. Alright, I'll use mysterious treasure discarding great ball, and then I will fail the search. And then I will use all out doing 160 damage. Yep. 160, pretty powerful, just missing the knockout, but pretty strong, setting me up for a shrine punishment later. 
I'll draw for turn. I'll bench a Poipal. And I'll start by using Charging Up to attach an energy for my discard pile to Naga and Adele. I'll use Energy Switch to move that energy to Lacephalon. And I'll play Cynthia to shuffle draw six. Off Cynthia, I'll draw six. Alrighty, so I'll use Lacephalon's Mind Blown Attack, <clears throat> Lost Zoning, two Fire Energy. And with the effect of Beast Energy, I'll do plus 30, doing 130 for the knockout. Alright. Now oh, I wonder where the fire energy went. I'll promote Snubble. I'll use Smooth Over. Put that to the top. And then I'll use Instruct to draw until I have three. Alright. I will use Apricorn Maker. Get two nest balls, and then with both those nest balls, I'll get Snubble and Blitzel. Yep. Alright, then I will use Make a Mess, yep. discarding Pokemon Catcher, doing 20 damage. Yep, and taking the knockout. Beast Energy goes to the Lost Zone because a Prism Star card, and I will promote Blacephalon and draw. I'll play Nagana. I'll start by using Charging Up to attach an energy from this card pile to Nagan Adele. I'll then play Heat Factory to discard and draw three. I'll use the second Charging Up to attach a Fire Energy to Nagan Adele. I'll then play B-String to search my deck for two Fire Energies and attach them to one of my Ultra Beasts. Attach them to Active. Yep. I'll then play a second beast ring to search my deck for two fire energies to test one of my ultra beasts. So. And I'll attach them to the bench that I got to do. That's how my energy hasn't been drawing. I'll play Guzma, switching to my cargo active, and I'll promote Nagana Dill and Retreat and the Blacephalon. I'll then Mysterious Treasure away Nagana Dill and fail to search. And I'll play Mars Shadow and use its Let Loose to force each player to shuffle and draw four. Off of the Mars Shadow, I'll draw four. That's a lie. I'll attach Fire Energy from my hand for turn to Naga Adele. And I'll use Mind Blown to Lost Zone two energy and do 100 damage, taking the knockout. Alright, now we'll promote Snubble. I will bump Heat Factory. Yep. Try and Punishment. I'll use Great Ball. I'll grab Gramble. I'll attach the Choice Band. Yep. I will attach Energy to the Bench and Snubble. I will evolve into Gramble. And then I will use Apricorn Maker. Yep. I'll just grab a Great Ball. Yep. I'll play Great Ball. I did not find a Pokemon. Sad. Alright, then I will use All Out for yep. 190 damage, taking the knockout. Yep, on my poor blown clown. Yeah. I'll promote Naganadel to the active. And I'll draw. I'll bench a Poipal. I'll use Ultra Space to bump your stadium. I'll then use Charging Up twice to attach fires from the discard pile to my Naganadel. I'll play Lily to draw four cards. I'll play Mysterious Treasure from my hand, discarding Beast Ring. And I'll find Marshadow. Okay. Put Marshadow to hand. I'll attach an energy from my hand to Naganadel, and I'll use Ultra Space. Finding Blacephalon GX. I'll play Energy Switch to move an energy from my active Naganadel to the Blacephalon on the bench. And I'll play Marshadow and use its Let Loose to force each player to shuffle and draw four cards. Okay. 
Off Marshadow, I'll draw four. I will too. And then I will use Turning Point for 160 damage, taking the knockout and a prize. Okay, I'll promote Snubble. Yep. I'll play Rescue Stretcher. Yep. I'll put Snubble, Gramble, and Gramble back into the deck. I'll play Diantha. Yep. Getting back Snubble and fi or Fairy Energy to my hand. Yep. And bench Snubble and attach the energy. Play Ultra Ball, discarding those two for my hand. Yep. Grabbing a Grand Bowl, then evolving it. And then I will use All Out for 160. Yep, taking the knockout. I'll promote Bless Athlon to the active spot, and I'll draw. I'll bench Poipole, and I'll use Ultra Space. Search my deck for an Ultra Beast, grabbing Naganadel. I'll attach an energy to Placephalon and I'll use both charging ups on the Naganadels on the bench to attach two energy to them. I'm going to play Guzma, gusting up the bench to Ranguru into the active spot. Okay. And I'll promote Naganadel and Retreat, bring back Placephalon. And I'll use Placephalon's Burst GX, which discards a prize card, and if it's an energy attached to one of my Pokemon. Alright, I'll bench Snubble and then attach a choice band to Gramble. Yep. And I'll use Instruct. I'll play Nest Ball. Yep. I'll get Slugma. Yep. I'll play Guzma. Yep. I'm bringing up Marshadow. No, not discard. Jeez. Yep. I'll bring up Gramble. Okay. And then I'll use All Out for 30 damage. Yep. I need an energy to retreat if I want to win, and it is the top deck, so I um, will retreat, Marshadow, I had sent the Enhance, but actually, I'd, yeah, I'd sent the Enhance, so I'd probably hit it, let's just, yeah, that's pretty much guaranteed. Uh, almost guaranteed, yeah. Yeah. And then, for my final trick, I will use Mind Blown, well, let's, let's charge up first, we gotta go all out for the last one, right? I'll use two Charging Ups. My editing self is going to hate me. <laughs> Attaching those two energy into play. And I'll use Mind Blown. Taking all of my energy, all seven, to do 350 damage and putting them into Blossom for the last prize. That was a close one, for sure. Yeah, that... One card off, and he, he, he almost had the game. In that final hand, he drew Double Supporter, though, which stuck the hand. Yeah, either... If... If I only had one or the other, that would have worked for me, but I yeah. drew both, which screwed me over. And the Grand Bowl play was definitely the right move, getting that stuck, and then not taking a KO, so I couldn't, so you couldn't activate the, uh, what's called Diantha, potentially. Yeah. Big brain plays on the side of me today, I think, but anyway, yeah. a really close game, definitely probably the closest of the series, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Stay tuned to the Sun to Lost Thunder Tournament. We will be playing another game after this to see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, they'll be uploaded every Friday. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.